It is Ohio Tourism Day, and on the west lawn of the State House, dozens of Ohio based tourism groups showcasing what the Buckeye State has to offer. From everyday attractions to pro sports teams, museums, wineries, state parks, and more. Digital anchor Christine Barconi was there today. She joins us from the NBC4i Streaming Center with a look at today's tourism fair and the economic impact that tourism made in Ohio in 2021. Christine? Good afternoon, Jennifer and Brad. I think the Ohio weather was showing off a little bit today as those dozens of groups came to town from Lake Erie and all the way up and down the Ohio River and everywhere in between, ready to help people plan an Ohio getaway or remind current Ohioans just how much the state has to offer. What are some things that you think Ohioans might like to rediscover about their own home state? So the beauty about o Ohio is that it actually is set up really well for those who want to kind of stay close to home. Ohio is a great place uh, to visit because it's easy to get to, but it's also a really easy place to travel around. And there's so much to see uh, and to do from traveling up uh, to Amish country uh, or traveling down uh, to the Ohio River. Tourism Ohio under the Department of Development there released this past year's tourism economic impact numbers in conjunction with today's event. In 2021, the state nearly fully rebounded from the 2020 height of the pandemic, but not quite. Ohio visitors spent an estimated $47 billion in the state compared to $38 billion in 2020 and 48 billion in 2019. That's a 22% increase that Tourism Ohio says supported more than 110,000 jobs, a number they hope to increase even more this year. The variety uh, that's available here uh, in Ohio, whether um, you know, you're looking uh, to do things a little low key, whether you're a foodie and looking to explore all kinds of different food scenes, um, you know, really, uh, quite frankly, uh, the, what's great uh, about Ohio is just the variety of things uh, to do. For a link to see more specific things to do in Ohio's five regions around the state for families with kids to solo travelers and again everyone in between you can go to NBC4i.com. Also tomorrow in the same realm of being a tourist in your own city or state while these gas prices continue to rise I sat down with the folks at Experience Columbus to talk about all of the fun things to do and see here in the Cap City this summer so you can look out for that story tomorrow Brad and Jen forward to it. Yeah, there's so many things that you can do within your own state. They Love did, in Ohio and summer. And they did get a Chamber of Commerce day to show it off too, didn't they, they Christine? They did. Yeah. It was gorgeous. Awesome. It was nice to be outside. Oh, Thanks, I can Christine. imagine. All right, Christine, thank you so much.